Hey guys, what's up? Scottish Duck here once again, and I never thought I would let's play this game. And I'm not let's play in this game, because it's me, his friend. A cr a shit, stop. What was it? What was it? I said? Do over, uh, you made some joke about it. Yeah, this isn't the first time we've done this. Uh, I, I don't know, basically you were basically you were trying to make out that you were too sophisticated to be my friend. Oh, no, I was Aristocratic British Mallard, 71. The two, the two numbers at the end of his name are just like the number at the end of my name, only yeah, backwards. <gasps> You're Scottish duck, I'm a Christopratic, a Christopratic, aristocratic British Mallard. Mallard, Mallard, it's like a duck. Oh, I thought it was a type of butter. Uh, anyway, Crash Bandicoot 2. Um, do you want to do the audio synchronization first, Mark? Just press down up on the menu here a couple times. I bet. Say, say them out. Say the words out loud. Down, up, down. Oh, d okay. D as soon as you said down, it went right to the freaking demo. Or you pressed X, I suppose. No, I didn't press anything. I don't know how this game works. I've never even heard of Crash Bandicoot. Who made this? What the fuck are we doing? What? Um, I don't. I don't fucking know. Uh, wait, Sony Computer Entertainment. Yes. So. Naughty dog. Naughty dog. Naughty dog. Naughty dog. Why? What did he do? Did he no pee idea. on the carpet or something? I don't know. Okay, yeah. You guys, um... I've done a lot of Naughty Dog games before, I know, but... I, and I've even asked today the uh, Crash Bandicoot games, but... I'm re I've never really played them to an extent, and me and Mark here... Who's my friend in real life, for those of you who haven't figured it out, by the way. Um, they exist. Yeah. I have evidence. Uh -huh. um, we've been planning to do this for, like, two fucking years, is it? Yeah, something like that. A long, long time, anyway. But we've always been caught back with, you know, real things like work. And women. Well, you have it. <laughs> I've, been, I've been too preoccupied with the internet. Anyway, let's just tell you what's going on here. Basically, the first thing you saw there was Neil Cortex fell out of his space Cortex Vortex. That was what happened at the end of the events of Crash Bandicoot 1. He fell down onto one of the islands and... Uh, Landed in a chamber where he found the slate, the master crystal behind him, but his associate engine has just told him in order to achieve ultimate power, he needs to have the remaining 25 slave crystals as they're known. But uh, he has no one left on earth to act as his agent and collect them, so he needs to find an enemy. We just saw Crash there with his sister Coco, who has a laptop. Um, you'd think she's more useful, but that's pretty much all you see of her. Uh, I, I, have, I have played the Crash Bandicoot 3 actually. I quite like Crash Bandicoot 3. Um, that's um, she can get the players or not, but hey. You do, but the, the way the way I see it, and you know, the various people I've played this game with, and I agree with myself, Crash Bandicoot 2 is Crash Bandicoot 3 without all the shit aeroplane levels and the jet ski levels. I, I, I didn't mind those. I, I didn't mind those. Yeah, but I was pissed at them, so obviously I'm going to hate Okay, now, right. I quite, I quite like the power-ups that Crash Bandicoot 3 sort of introduced, you know, spin for infinity. Unless they're in this game, I don't actually know. No, they're not. This is actually just, you know, solid platforming, make what you deal with for all the levels. It's a, it's a very uh, straightforward game, isn't it? No, it's Get it actually... because you're always going straight forward? It's actually, um... Basically, this Cortex describing to you what it is you've done get in each of the levels, that was a crystal. Basically, um, in, or in order to progress through each of what's known as the warp rooms, which have five levels each, and eventually complete the game, you have to gather all 25 crystals. So there's one in each of the 25 main levels. However, to, to achieve 100% completion, you also need to collect all of the gems, most of which are achieved by breaking all the boxes in a level. There are others that are given to you for uh, mastering harder routes in the game through specific levels, and others that are given to you for time trials. I've, uh, I'm pretty sure, like, is it Crash 1 that everybody hates because it's so frustrating? Crash 1 is the worst ever because if you get 99% through a level and you've collected all the boxes this, thus far, if you die, then it doesn't count. It's not only that you need to collect all the boxes in Crash Bandicoot 1, so you need to collect all the boxes and do it in one life, in one turn, yeah. which is really, really unfair. Thank, thank God achievements didn't exist back then. That would be a bitch! A little bit. 
Right, mind you, back then we did these things without the incentive of the achievements. Okay, these things you need to jump on them and off very, very quickly because once they're on and you're off, they go down and you can't get back up to get these boxes unless you go kill yourself. And saying that, I've been playing this for about three minutes and I've already got eight lives, so how hard can that be, right? Watch it for the you macaws. Were, you weren't doing that good in the practice run. Yeah, but that was warm up. Warm up, yeah, I suppose. Waterfall in the background. No, it's okay, it's okay. Just check. No, no, it's the frames have dropped. Right enough. Really? Because I can totally see that fine. I'm actually yeah. looking at you. Okay, okay, um. Okay, for the sake of, for the sake of, um, we're gonna do it in a quick sort of. Okay. Nah, I saw the audio sinkage. Let's just hope it doesn't hey, drop any more frames. <laughs> yeah. Easy. We had the frame rate skin there. We're okay. It was okay. Yeah, I hope I hope it doesn't come back anyway. <laughs> because my my dazzles back weird lately. Which is why I'm doing PC games. Super lately. mask. Fuck this. You are in invincibility mode. And you are invincible to all except the camera. I tried to be a smart ass there. And jump over that big wall like this. I see oh, that. See, it's, a, it's a waku waku into. Waku waku. Get it right. Next should be calling the wumpa for apples or waku, something. Waku waku. What am I thinking of? Oh yeah, we can't call them apples like normal people. That's what you do. That's what you want to do. And, as I said, I collected every box. That's a perfect gem. That's a chaos emerald. It's not a chaos emerald. There was no silver chaos emerald. There was a grey one. Yeah, but it's silver. It's silver. Right, and that other one, is that the time trial, that blue one? No, no, uh, I'll explain in a minute, but I'm, I'm not really sure... Over Crash's epic dance here that he always yeah. does. Okay, so here it is, Cortex, he's uh, praising us, getting that thing. Forgetting that gem. Uh, sorry, the, the crystal. Basically, he's now explaining his whole point in abducting you and getting you to do his dirty work. Or is it dirty work? Crystals are the only means of containing ulterior motives which are actually well fair enough you do pair up with them in a future game which was apparently not very good that's what they call them neo subterfuge cortex and that's coco again she's not sure what's going on okay so you see beside the title turtle woods there we have the crystal for the level and the gem for the level there's also what looks to be the blue gem go back in yeah we are going to do 100 percent actually yep so you don't hate me already. <laughs> I know I do. There's the... I mean... Well... The key to getting the blue gem is very straightforward, but if you've never done it, it's a pain in the arse when you figure it out. All you need to do is actually get none of the boxes. Go through the whole level and get none of the boxes. Oh, that's... Kind of odd. It seems fairly straightforward, yeah. but the amount of times I've done it and just hit check yeah, buttons I... for getting the counting, <laughs> And you know, having to die and yeah, I, I can imagine thing. it would be. It's like so tempting, just like oh, I don't want to. Just want to hit them, you know. Yeah, I know. So you are essentially watching the first level again. So sorry about that. It might be better to do these off screen, to be honest. We'll show this one off for the sake of like um, showing you guys how it works, you know. But uh, we'll do the we'll do the rest off screen. Rather, I might do them when Mark's not here. Stop. What were they not well, the, you know, the uh, blue gems. Because they're all like this, aren't they? No, they're, they're, there's only one blue gem. There's only one blue gem. There are five coloured gems. The blue gem is one. There's a red one, a green one, a yellow one, and a purple one. You get them for all different, you know, it's, oh. it's all different challenges you have to do. Oh, you need to figure enough. them out. This is the only level like this that you need to go through the whole level and not get any of the gem, any of the boxes. So. Oh, okay, fair yeah. enough. Um, if that's the case, then we'll definitely show them off. Oh, uh, I need to show you my mad um, bandicoot skills. Mad, mad marsupial band skills. Didn't you used to have like uh, bandicoot knights at uni, Mark? I did. I'll explain about them <laughs> later on. Okay. Now he does. Uh, each time you, uh, each time you acquire a gem, he does this little dance, which this is the only time we're ever going to watch. So hope you enjoyed it. 
Now, once you collect a gem... You know what's funny? This guy I'm sorry. I'm sorry to talk over your Mark, but I'm, I'm playing through Rayman Origins by Marcel Denou on this yeah? channel. Yeah, okay. And Rayman also humps the air in that game when he does something uh, he's proud of. So there's... It's rude. Crotch thrusting was okay when we were weak. Yeah. Apparently now it's not or something. Right. So, this guy, he was Cortex's henchman in the first game. But now he's telling you, don't collect the crystals, get all the gems instead. Oh no. Who to trust? So there's a bit of Mass Effect going on here. Yeah. Reneg Renegade is like uh, with Neo Cortex and going with this guy is also Renegade. Well, let's be honest, you know. Yeah, they're both they're both pretty evil. They both tried to kill you in the first game. Right? <laughs> the fact that you would consider trusting either of them is stupid. 